Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be spotlighting uh, Donny Cates Hulk. Uh, now that the first story arc is over, I wanted to do a little spotlight talking about what I thought of the overall first story arc, what I thought of the book itself, you know, and just to see if I can recommend it to y'all. Uh, but yeah, so um, I got them all out of the bag of boards, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, for starters, you know, the artwork fantastic you know can't can't do wrong with the artwork here uh you know they they work together you know it's ryan otley they work together on venom back when donny case was on venom and you know i know a lot of people were you know kind of like i'm not sure how i feel about you know hulk being a straight up megazord from freaking power rangers because that's pretty much what he is is he is like like starship hulk man he look at him he, he's a whole battleship you know punching you know iron man and hulk buster he didn't care but like what's going on is you know he's practically split his personality look at this two-page spread um and so he uh he's pretty much locked hulk away uh and all that well i'm not going to try to spoil everything if y'all haven't read the book yet but like but uh they locked it away and he's like able to do different things to make hulk angrier like make him fight marvel zombies thanos stuff like that and it's causing him to like level up you know and all in all this is actually my first like following of hulk if y'all don't remember I, I didn't really get into comic books until about two years ago i talked about it a little bit where i started collecting batman and i've moved on and i've started collecting other things but reading this uh i've i've really enjoyed it i really like what's going on i i, I just kind of like the story now uh i do now i think i want to start collecting the compendiums for uh immortal hulk because Immortal Hulk, like, from what I heard, is fantastic. But, anyway, so, you know, we, we get a little bit of stuff, you know, that happens. And, well, so he, he gets himself stuck in another, you know, dimension. And this dimension, he meets another Bruce Banner. And, well, that Bruce Banner, pretty much, he did something. And I'm not going to spoil. I'm not going to talk about in case y'all haven't read the story. Um, he did something that caused a lot of a hoax but that's all i'm gonna say um well this issue issue three this issue is, is kind of like when it first came out I, it was the hardest to find which i had it on my pull list so i just got it but this is the um first cameo appearance of a specific character that we call titan it was kind of a big deal seems like it, it's see there he is right here his little cameo He's um, been positioned to be, like, the knoll of the Hulk world. Well, so as you can tell, you know, just the artwork in general is fantastic, you know. Um, but this this seems to be the issue that's the hardest to find is issue three. So, if y'all are going to try to get it, good luck. Um, I know there's a second printing where the cover... You'll notice the second printing because the cover won't be, like, this color. It'll be white. Like, it'll be this, this exact cover, but the background is white. Uh, let me see what I'm talking about with the, the other things. But, again, I don't want to talk about the plot too much in case y'all have it, uh, you know, read it and all that. But, yeah, but this is the hardest issue to find, it seems. Um, and then you got issue four. Now, I've got all cover A's for Hulk, like all the, the regular covers. I didn't pick up any variants. I feel like I probably should have for issue one. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. I just got a message from my friend who, who's playing Elden Ring. <laughs> he just said this crap hard, but uh, yeah, like you know, it continues. It's it's. I like the idea of you know practically making Hulk, you know, stronger by making him even more mad. But again, I am a little iffy though on him looking like a freaking like a robot from Power Rangers. <laughs> I just like the idea behind the story, but well, you know, here's stage four where he's fighting the Marvel zombies, like I said, but it's like different stages, 
and stuff that he goes into and, and fights. But, yeah. But I like Donny Cates' writing style. I really enjoy his Venom. I'm eventually going to uh, pick up his third hardcover for Venom. Uh, I read his, I got his first two, and it's, it's awesome. It's good stuff. Uh, I read issue one of his crossover book, which I need to start picking up the other issues. But, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's a really, really awesome book. You know, you got a little spider hulk, it looks like. But, so, and then here's issue five. Again, you know, it's a solid, solid read. Uh, again, I, I keep hearing there, a lot of people, you know, they, they think it's meh. I think it's fine. I, especially since what we know what the next, like, three books is going to be about. But, you know, you got stage five here, gods. But, yeah, uh, so pretty much the plot is, you know, him trying to stop this other dimension or he's trying to get away from the avengers because you know they think he's bad and he wants to just get away and that's his plan is to just try to get away but he can't he gets himself stuck in another dimension and uh i'm gonna move these issues over here so we can specifically look at issue six because this was the big one this is the one that everybody was waiting on this is the one that was supposed to you know blow everybody's socks off uh I'm not going to say too much. My my overall thoughts is I thought it was an okay issue. It's just what happens at the end, that what it sets up. That's really interesting. But yeah, this is the issue that has the big Titan reveal. Um, you know, he... And also has a scene that actually made me legitimately sad. <laughs> kind of broke my heart. See, there, there's Titan. See, he's freaking massive. But... Um, I was watching this video, but I'm pretty sure if y'all follow comic books, y'all have heard of them, uh, Comic Book Corner 2.0. Uh, he thinks it's like a Super Saiyan transformation, and I kind of agree with him. It does look like Hulk just straight up hits its over 9,000 power level and goes Super Saiyan. This panel is awesome. Um, but, yeah, I think Ryan Otley was made for this book. He, he's so good at drawing action pieces and, like, just, just violence in general. So, I think he was made to draw Hulk. It was just perfect for him. But, yeah, so, uh, you know, after the issue ends, we get this, you know, set up for the Banner of War, which is, you know, coming out next month. And it's really cool. So, if you haven't read issues one through six, but you do want to just read this i mean I, I go for it i haven't read any of thor but i'm still gonna read this because i'm following this series i'm following hulk but yeah if y'all have any uh like recommendations for other hulk titles i should read y'all should let me know in the comments below um i am thinking about getting uh immortal hulk you know the companions are only like 30 dollars on amazon and stuff i'd rather just get them ordered off from my comic book shop to support them but money's kind of tight these days but yeah um Overall, man, I enjoy. I have to say, though, my, my two favorite covers is definitely issue one and six. Those those covers are phenomenal. There's this one cover for cover uh, for issue one where he's he's kind of a chibi Hulk and he's just reaching out and grabbing the grabbing a star. It's adorable. But yeah, I mean, I think you know the first six, six issues are solid. Uh, and if you, I mean, if you like the Hulk, pick it up. Donny Cates always always ends up surprising me it, it never fails he always does something wild but yeah i just wanted to spotlight the book tell y'all what i thought you know it's a good series I, I like what it what it's doing i can't wait for issue seven i gotta start picking up thor now because well i don't think i'll follow thor that hard but i am gonna pick up his stuff that you know does the tie-ins with the banner of war stuff but uh, yeah, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I don't know what the next video is going to be, but I'll catch you later. Uh, like and subscribe and enjoy the video.